Hi, this is Tracy from WeCraft at Home and I wanted to go through something with you that has bugged me for so long. So, single line fonts, uh, ones that you can use for foiling or drawing that don't have the closed cut line that you'd need if you was cutting out. As much as I know Canvas Workspace, I could not work out how to do it simply enough that you're not going through a load of stuff. So I finally learned and I wanted to share it with you. Um, the one thing you do need is another program. Uh, I've got Inkspace. I have it anyway. It's a free download. Sorry, Inkscape. It's a free download, um, but you have to get the copy that is over 1.0. So, so when you go to find it, it will say in Inkscape version and it has to be over 1.0. So then all you have to do, if you get it just for this, it's good, but it's got a lot of other things that are great for it. You can bring in any JPEG, PNG, whatever file and convert it into an SVG to cut in Canvas. So it is really handy for a lot of things but for now let me just use a very basic happy birthday i'm going to go back to that for a minute because then if i go in a bit closer so now we're going to go to extensions text hershey text font face now in there is all the fonts that are given to you. You can get some extra fonts. Um, I'll put the link somewhere for you if you want to get the extra fonts. Actually, I'm going to go through that with you in a minute. So here are the, the fonts that you get already. Um, I'm just going to show you one of them. You can click on Live Preview. And I'll just move that out of the way. And there we have it. That is the live preview of um, Allure. And if we apply, I just want to show you something a little bit extra. We're going to zoom in. You can see the lines are very ragged. But we can still sort that one out. If you simplify, you can see it changing into a much better line. Uh, we'll try one more and see what that does. Oh, there we go. So we got that horrible ragged line that was on the Y's, and it's it's a lot better. So if your text does come out that's not, it's quite harsh like this one did, then you can do that. So this is a good place to get some fonts, and they're free. Um, but these are a good place to get some fonts for working with the Hershey extension and you can get them EMS or the Hershey ones. Well, we've got all the Hershey ones bar two. So the goth German and the goth Italian you can download as well. So these are all the ones you can download. So each one you download, when you go on it, I've just picked one. You download it there. I'm just going to show you, although I've already done it. You then go over to your download file. And you see it's here. I'll show you where it goes. So if you go into your local disk, okay, and your program files, Inkscape, so share, Inkscape, Extensions, SVG fonts. See, I've put them all in there. And you just get it over to this. Put it in here, and then they're all um, ready to use. But what you have to do when you're using the extra ones is Extensions, Text, Hershey Text, like before. Um, you do Font Face Other, and then down here I've got one ready. So um, all you're doing is the name of it because it is in that file. 
So all we need to put is the name of it. So EMS Pancakes is one I've chosen. Sounds a bit odd, but I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, let's live preview so we can see what it's like. OK, so I think maybe we need to start from, let's delete that and we'll actually write happy birthday and start again. I think maybe we have to do that. I'm still on a learning curve with this, although I know most of it. OK, so now we're going to do extensions, Hershey text. So we're going to do the same thing again. So here you, you've got the text that you're allowed that comes with it. But if you go and get the others, like I said, then you need to put the name of it on there. So I've chosen pancakes, like I said, live preview. Oh, and there we go. So if we apply that now, you can come out the way. And what we're going to do is, like I said before, you want to simplify. So you don't want the harsh straight lines. You want them to be turned a little bit. Let's try once more. Oh, that's a lot better. So there we go. And then you've got a choice of a lot of fonts that you can use. Now, the next thing to do, what I'm going to do is save both of these. So I'm just going to come out a little bit. Let's just... What I want to do is make them both bigger. So that when we open them up, they're a little bit bigger. Uh, when you do, when you're making these bigger in Inkscape, you've got to hold the Shift key so that it doesn't go everywhere but the right place. Not sure about that B. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to simplify it one more time and see what happens. That's a little bit better, I think. Let's try one more. Don't want to go too far. Okay, so let's file, save as, and it automatically saves it. Let's put, put two times birthday SLF, single line font, and I'll save that in my scan and cut folder. And then we'll go over to Canvas. And I will open SVG. I'm in scan and cut, so it'll be down here somewhere. Two times birthday. We'll open it up. And there we go. See, it still comes out really tiny. Don't worry about this. That's because it is, at the moment, in a cut file. So it's automatically going to try and find a way of... Right, so I'm going to group the words. Sorry, it's going to find a line to finish it with. That is all that is, because a cut file has to be closed. So then, once I've grouped that, we'll grab them both and we'll change to draw. And it will draw it exactly as it is. You haven't got to worry about this. It's not going to do that. It won't do an extra line. It's just, you know... Like I said, the canvas workspace automatically tries to find a closed line. That's all it is. And there you go. You can use all them fonts, all these, as single line fonts and write anything you like rather than having to buy it already done. That is the easiest way I've found. Um, I would love to hear from any of you if you know where to get any more of these fonts because I do love my fonts. And I hope that helped you all. It certainly made a difference for me. So let's hope it does for you too. Don't be afraid of Inkscape. It's not a difficult um, program if you know what you're doing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.